Hello, my name is Perry from SolidTech. In this technical blog post, I'm going to talk to you about how to install any version of SolidWorks alongside another version of SolidWorks. Now, just so you know, I've got currently installed on my machine here SolidWorks 2011 with 2012 working alongside each other. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to install 2010 just to show you how the file structure of installing another version is. Just so we know, and we can start off, I'm just going to show you um, my current file structure within my C drive for SOLIDWORKS. So here I have the SOLIDWORKS Data 2011 folder and a SOLIDWORKS Data 2012 folder. I've split these two folders up, which makes it much easier uh, to have in uh, the two bits and pieces uh, of their files. Within the uh, program files section, I have uh, two folders, one for SOLIDWORKS Corp. 2011 and another one for SOLIDWORKS Corp 2012. Each of these folders having their own file structure uh, for the installation and it's all separate with the actual proper installation media all in there. So that's how I have split up the installations. Okay, so I've got my installation media here for 2010 64-bit SP5. I'm going to scroll down in my installation files to the setup.exe. Let's go ahead and run this. And here it is on my screen. Now I want to select uh, this installation to be an individual installation. And continue next to for the system check. During the system check, all that happens here is the serial number gets checked against the uh, SOLIDWORKS records just to verify uh, any updates that need to take place with the version that you're installing. Um, if you're entitled to that version, it also checks what product you are able to install, if it's standard, uh, professional, or premium. Here we can see in the change selection pre uh, preferences, um, actually installing SOLIDWORKS Premium. Okay, so some main things to pay attention here when installing a, another version of SOLIDWORKS is to watch uh, where it's actually installing to. So here we have the installation location. So the current installation location, it's, it's by default program files SOLIDWORKS Corp. Now a lot of people may have this SOLIDWORKS Corp. I would not recommend you going into the C drive into your program files like uh, with my file structure and actually renaming the default SOLIDWORKS Corp to say you've got 2011 in there to 2011. I'll just work with it for the time being, uh, keep it how it is and just go ahead and uh, into the installation for the new version. Uh, don't go and modify any of the folder structures that already exist there. So back onto here, we've got the installation location. Uh, we want to change this installation location. We want to go to the browse. And down in this bottom box here, we're just going to put in 10, just so that we know this is SOLIDWORKS uh, installation for, for 2010. Uh, because this path doesn't exist, it wants, it wants to create it, and we're going to specify yes to create that path. You can see that that has happened. Let's go ahead back to the summary. And down below, it, this could be referencing with the toolbox, maybe the most up-to-date toolbox there. Um, now we want to change this also to be uh, create a new 2010 toolbox. We need to rename this. So let's go to the Browse section and type in 10 as well. Back to our summary. And we can just uh, nicely read over. Uh, we are installing SOLIDWORKS 2010 to C Program Files 2010 folder and same with the SOLIDWORKS data 2010 folder as well. So now I can continue through the installation process and let this kick off um, and if I was to do this it's just going to install and we can also just double check that this is all uh, going to plan into those folders that we set up. If we go to the computer, into the C drive, into the data for 2010 we should see some folders being populated here Alright, so that is how to uh, install SOLIDWORKS uh, alongside another version of SOLIDWORKS. Um, just keep in mind with your references of where you and I are installing to, um, make sure it's split from any other existing versions of SOLIDWORKS. Uh, you also want to make sure that you do keep a record of what files that you are creating in previous versions compared to newer versions. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or uh, drop us an email.